Okay, hi folks. So, uh, I'm going to interrupt the flow of the videos I'm putting up at the moment. Uh, I've been putting them up, like I say, I always try to do the, the put the videos up in chronological order, the way I've filmed them, uh, so one after the other sort of thing. So I try to do it that way, and like I say, if there's a kind of narrative going on, sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't, sometimes they're just complete videos within their own right sort of thing. Um, well, it's just kind of habit, generally. Uh, anyway, so I'm still uploading some. There's still a couple to come. Um, and uh, like I say, there's two videos that I've uploaded. There might even be a third one. Well, in fact, the third one is going to be the one where I'm on the on top of the tower thing at the castle. Um, still, uh, I'm still debating about that one, actually. I'm still debating whether I'm going to put it up as it is or where I'll add it to one of the other videos, I'm still a little bit uncertain about that. Uh, anyway, the thing is that uh, the two videos that got no talking on it, and they're literally, one's like 30 seconds I think, and the other one's about a minute or just slightly over a minute. Uh, normally I don't do that, normally I'll just put them together perhaps because they're so short, or I'll uh, put them in with another piece of video sort of thing. Um, but at the moment I'm just, it's like I'm really really super tired, uh, I don't want to be up until like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning doing all this and editing and waiting for it to upload to YouTube, so at the moment I'm just going to put the videos up uh, as they are, um, like I say I'm still debating at the moment with the one on top of the castle turret thing, the tower, uh, still sort of debating whether I'm going to do that with that one yet or not, um, but anyway so also to to mention um, that um, now actually I've completely forgotten what it was what was I thinking uh, there was something that oh no you know to be quite honest I've now completely forgotten what the other thing was that I was going to talk about um, but never mind uh, because the other thing as well I want to say is that I'm going to put this one up I'd say literally before I put the rest of the ones up so you're going to get this video right in the middle well I'll say in the middle uh, hang on how many I can't remember now off the top of my head uh, I know there's 17 videos I did 17 videos today 17 videos um, and I think I'm at number 10 no no I'm not number 11 so I'm at video 11 so obviously more than halfway through anyway so but anyway so I'm gonna put this video in the middle of that sort of thing so you you're gonna get this right in the middle of uh, all the videos from uh, from Oxford uh, and part of the reason why I'm doing this right this minute is because um, I've I think it's it's probably the last two to what not the last video Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to recall. I'm trying to recall which videos it is because there's one that I do in the alleyway. You'll see that. Um, that's the very last video because uh, I was really in pain on my back. Uh, and before that one was the shopping mall, I think. Uh, so it must be the. I think it's. Right, so it's the it's not the last videos, but it's not the video that's going up now. But the next two videos af after this one, so the next two videos after this one. Sorry about that. I know that's like whoa. I have to really really think about that. Uh, so the next two videos after this video uh, are all about the castle, uh, and there's one particular one that's going to be about 16 minutes long. Now. The reason why I say I'm making this video very long-windedly as usual um, is that that particular part of the castle uh, and from the guided tour that we're given, you'll see it, we're, we're given a guided tour, you won't see the guided tour, sorry, because I wasn't sure whether I should film that or not, because I thought I want to be able to film some of this. I knew that the tour would finish after an hour, we were told this when I when I paid my, bought my ticket, uh, the lady at the counter said that like you, you know, you, you didn't have a choice either, because uh, I didn't really want to go on a tour. You know, I just wanted to explore it on my own. I don't really like going on tours, and some 
person waffling on about this, that and the other and blah blah blah. Yeah, I like to discover things for myself. Um, but I don't mind sometimes. Sometimes they can be interesting and this, this one turned out to be alright actually as it goes. Uh, very interesting character uh, that was giving that tour as well. And I don't just mean the fact that he was actually dressed in character and all. He was dressed as a highwayman from like the, I don't know, 15th, 16th century or something, like like, like Dick Turpin or whatever sort of thing. He, he, uh, uh, but um, just in himself, I found, uh, was quite a, an intriguing and interesting, interesting person. You're a young fella, uh, possibly a student, uh, may, maybe. Maybe that's way part of uh, your know, funding his uh, uh, education, maybe, partly. Do you know what I mean? Or get a bit of spending money or whatever doing that. I don't know, whatever, uh, whatever. Uh, but possibly a student, a very young fella anyway, um, uh, I would have hazard a guess and say like somewhere in his mid-twenties possibly, maybe a bit younger even. Um, any, anyway, sorry, I know I keep digressing, I'm, I'm trying to stay to the point. Uh, I couldn't help it but because he is an interesting character, I found the man very interesting. Uh, for lots of different reasons, um, and one of the reasons I'm not going to talk about right this minute because uh, I need to really work out how I'm going to frame that because I don't want it to come across as if I'm being uh, in any way sort of um, uh, what I don't know uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for classist classi classist classist maybe because uh, I'm not far from it actually it's a very interesting anyway again I, I, that's a whole different vlog right so uh, so this this guy, like I say, this and this guide and tour guide, whatever, uh, really really interesting character. Uh, and anyway, like I say, you have to go on the tour. You don't get a choice uh, because anyway, again, blah blah blah. So I knew it was going to be finished in an hour, and I, I could go around and film uh, independently all the places. Well, apart from the tower, you can't go up there without being on the tour. Uh, it's health and safety because of the narrow stairs. Blah blah blah. Anyway, but the rest of it, you can, after the tour of the rest of it, you can just wander around, do your own thing, as it were. Um, so I knew that would end, and then I, I, so basically, I didn't want to film the actual tour. I wasn't sure. Maybe I should have asked, because I think you guys would have loved it as well, actually. Uh, I kind of kicked myself. I am going to go back there, and I'm going to go back with Joanne, and hopefully, not in the too distant future, maybe. You know, in the next couple of weeks or so, I don't know, we'll see how things work. But definitely this year, definitely not too far in the distant future. Definitely going back there, uh, hopefully going with Joanne, uh, and hopefully we'll go back on that tour. Now, whether we'll get the same dude or not, it's probably a different matter, but that's, that's like I say, that's a whole different thing. But on that occasion... I'm hoping maybe we might be able to film the actual tour and what they tell us and, and the history and so forth. You might find it really interesting. Anyway, like I said, um, so I didn't want to jeopardise the possibility that if I started filming the thing without really asking permission and then the embarrassment of being with this group of people and me start filming and then this character turn around, excuse me, sir, you're not allowed to do it, I will not allow to film it, whatever. Do you know what I mean? I just didn't want to put myself in that position. Do you know, I've just realised, why am I telling you all this? Why the heck am I telling you all this? You know, is there really a need for me to tell you this? I'm, I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to learn how to not bore you, not go off piste, and not flipping, just waffle on with myself all the time. Um, so I've just realised, was there any real point for me to tell you that? Uh, possibly not. But I just found it interesting anyway. So... Anyway, like I said, uh, so I didn't want to jeopardise all that, blah, 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 so that's why I didn't film at all. So, as I said, this, this guy's uh, telling us all about the, the history and stuff, and so downstairs um, in the crypt, apparently it's haunted, uh, and apparently, uh, you know, lots of people have reported seeing this monk, uh, there's been reports of the uh, dogs won't go down there. You know, if somebody you know, like a blind person is going on the tour or whatever, they've got a guide dog. Guide dogs will not enter the room. Uh, they they stand on the threshold of the doorway, uh, look into the corner where this monk supposedly stands, uh, and whimper and run away. Uh, now, I'd say over the years I've become mu very much a skeptic around all these things. 
don't really believe in all this stuff. Um, now that's not to say that I don't believe that people have genuine real experiences and that's not to say that um, sometimes real phenomena does occur. Um, just it's about the interpretation of what that phenomena is. Because for me, I don't, I just, I, I just find it really, really hard to get my head around on the concept of that somebody's soul, if such a thing exists even, because again, I must admit, I'm not even sure if that's a real thing or not. I don't know. I'll, I'll just say I don't know. You know, and I'm fair enough. Other people have their own beliefs, and that's they're perfectly entitled to have those beliefs. All I'm saying is I don't know if there is such a thing or not, and whether there is or not. The thing is, even, you know, even if I accept the fact that might be, there might be something like that, a soul or whatever it is, I just don't get or understand how. What logically, I can't figure out in my head on a logical thinking why would somebody that had passed on then hang around in a particular place particularly if it was a place that where they were tormented or tortured or you know met a horrible ending or whatever why wouldn't you want to go and hang out somewhere pleasant or nice you know what i mean why would you want to anyway anyway again i'm going slightly off the thing so, I, as I said, when I was a kid, I mean, I've been into this stuff for years. Ever since I was a child, as long as I can remember. I've always been fascinated and intrigued by the paranormal. Uh, I love it. It just fascinates the heck out of me. It really does. But, like I said, uh, you know, and I guess when I was younger, I wanted to be a believer. Uh, and to some degree, I guess I was a believer. But, I don't know, as I've got on older... Uh, and as I've never experienced anything, even to even going to some of these places that uh, these these um, uh, what do you call them paranormal teams have been to, like most haunted in our country, you know what I mean? Um, <coughs> we have a uh, TV group of people uh, called Most Haunted. They go around different places, and I've even been to some of their venues. And just to see, like, do I pick up on anything? Am I going to experience anything? Now, okay, fair enough. The point is, I've gone during the daytime uh, because the places uh, would have been locked up uh, at night and I wouldn't have been able to gain access. So, uh, in that sense, you could argue, well, isn't it only supposed to happen at night? Well, anyway, again, whole different thing. But the point is that I've never experienced anything uh, I've always wanted to. I want to. I'd love to see a ghost. I'm, hey, don't get me wrong. If I if if I see a ghost, or if I'd seen a ghost down there like, today when we were doing this filming, or if I'd seen it on my camera, and you actually hear me say this in the in the thing, if I'd actually seen one, I would have been crapping myself. Sorry to swear, but I would have been shitting myself. I'm telling you, I would have been out of there faster than those bloody guide dogs get out of there, believe me. <laughs> so that doesn't mean to say that I wouldn't be scared. I damn well would. But the thing is, I'd still love to experience it. I'd still love to see something or experience something. Of course I would. You know, because I've got that imagination, I've got that curiosity. Do you know what I mean? And and it's like, God blind me, yeah, of course I'd be absolutely intrigued and fascinating. So but like I said, I don't know, maybe as I'm getting older and you know, as time's gone on and because I've never experienced anything, I've become very cynical. Uh, I'm very sceptical of it, do you know what I mean, to be quite honest. And, uh, you know, and again, there's a, uh, in the last few years, all of these big uh, paranormal TV shows, there's been loads of sort of stuff thrown up about their credibility and, you know, oh, they've been faking stuff or this, that and the other and da 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 and blah, 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 blah. Now, again, you know, I don't know what the validity of those uh, claims are or not. Uh, but the thing is that, you know, for me, it just feeds into that sort of like, oh, well, yeah, see, maybe it isn't all that real after all. Anyway, after all that big long spiel, like I said, the thing is that um, I've, d I've done this video down in the crypt, like I said, and I'm calling this thing out this this monk it's supposed to be a monk uh that was supposed to be a really really horrible person in life uh by all accounts in history or whatever this historic he was supposed to be a historical person he was a real person you know it's, it's actually documented somewhere whatever I, I, at least this is what the guide's telling us so this is supposedly a real person that did exist who was a very horrible person even though he was a monk 
uh, oh, he's, he was a boozer and all the rest of this and the other. <coughs> Womanizer and so forth and so forth. Um, so I'm calling this spirit, ghost, whatever, I'm calling it out. Because uh, I want it to appear. I want to say, uh, come on, prove to me you're real sort of thing. Now, I've played it back and I didn't see anything. So I would really love for you guys to get back to me. When you see this video, I want you to put in the comments, please, I want you to, if you guys spot something that I didn't see, I've watched it through about two, three times now, and I didn't see anything. I just saw me wandering around that crypt, and I didn't see, I didn't even see a, a, a moat of, of uh, dust flying past. Do you know what I mean? So I didn't see nothing, you know? So I... Please, if you guys see anything in that video, uh, and I'm going to call it something like uh, the ghost in the vaults or whatever, I don't know, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to call it, but I'm going to call it something um, in the hopes that people will, you know, come across the video. Uh, so I'm asking all my subscribers, I'm asking anybody out there, uh, if you see this video, you see my video, please, if you spot something that I've missed, please let me know put it in the comments or whatever my my facebook and what's names are all on my youtube channel get through to me that way whatever but please let me know because i would dearly love to see something like i say i'd love to experience something um and in part of the the uh, in part of the video i explained that whilst we we're on that tour as i say i wish i kind of filmed it but when we were doing that bit down there in the in the um in the crypt, uh, the the guide uh, was always he was asked. I was always the first out of the group. There was all about. There wasn't a big group actually. It was a, it was a. I don't know exactly. I can't remember. Uh, but I, I would say about five or six of us on that little tour, um, including me, I guess. Uh, you know, so I don't know about seven of us all together, including the guide, whatever. So so anyway, it's the the thing is that, uh, like I say. Every time he asked us anybody to do something to volunteer to step into the to the uh, cells over there, somebody like to step in. I was always the first one to do it. You see, because like sometimes I'm like that. Not always, to be quite honest. Sometimes I'll hang back. But today I just felt really I wanted to get. I was bold and because it wasn't a, such a big group either. Uh, and so anyway, so I'm straight in there. Uh, and when he was talking about the ghost and everything, uh, and it was funny because he asked us right. At the, the tower part, when we were coming downstairs, he says, like, uh, uh, I hope nobody's afraid of ghosts, he says. Uh, but, uh, blah, blah, and I turn around and says, like, love them. Uh, because I would love to see a ghost. I'd love to experience it. You know, that doesn't mean to say, like I said, I wouldn't be scared. I would. But I'd still love to experience it. So, when we got down to the, um, down to the crypt, uh, and he's talking about this monk, and he's pointing in the corner and saying, like, well, this monk supposedly appears there, people see this monk, and people say that when they stand in that corner, uh, and he was saying, would anybody like to go? I was straight in there, straight into the corner, I stood there, and I'm standing there, and he says, like, now close your eyes. So I closed my eyes, and I swear I felt myself going like this, right? And before he said, in, you know, before, well, I didn't even say anything to him. And it's dark in that corner, yeah? Yeah, you probably can see me, but I don't know if you... And I wasn't sort of swaying really noticeably, but I was just swaying to try and show you on, on here sort of thing. But I was kind of, you know, I'm like this, and I swear I felt myself moving. And I did feel a little bit... But, you know, the thing is, I'm standing on cobbles, and there's a dip where you're standing sort of thing. So I don't think it was anything paranormal. But for a split second, when he turned around to me, he says, now, do you feel yourself swaying a little bit? And I'm like, whoa, bloody hell, I am. Wow, how did he know that sort of thing? It's like, whoa. Um, so for a minute or two, I'm like, whoa, flipping it. Maybe there is something here. Do you know what I mean? But like I say, now that, you know, obviously, like I rationalised it, I thought about it. I went back down there, like I said, and I did a video, which you're going to see, like I say, I'm going to put it up straight after this. Uh... I didn't experience anything that I can sense that or felt that was paranormal, to be quite honest. I wish I had. I genuinely wish I had. Uh, but like I said, please, please, put something in the comments. Let me know if you guys see something that I didn't see. Because it would be awesome. Absolutely awesome if, if you guys see something. 
Uh, okay, so I'm going to leave the video here. It's obviously gone on way longer than always, as it always does. Right, so uh, so please subscribe. Please uh, uh, hit that like button. Uh, and um, like I would say we're getting nearer and nearer to the thousand video. Uh, I want to save the thousandth video for something special. Uh, so I'm going to do something really different uh, and something uh, hopefully that you guys will really really like. Um, so I'm still in the process of uh, coming up with something for that. Um, but believe me, it'll be something unique, different, something I've not done before. Uh, so for the thousandth video. So okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, please subscribe and please let me know in the comments if you see anything in the in the video that I'm going to put up straight after this. So I'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now. Thanks for all the support. Great. See you later. Bye for now.